Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna start by just getting warmed up. Um, a lot of you guys from uh, the last class, you remember when we had a, the bat on our back shoulder? We're gonna start with that shoulder rocking drill, okay? We're gonna have our bat on our back shoulder. We're just gonna focus on getting that back elbow engaged nice and tight with your core. We're just gonna rock into it three times and then swing all the way through, okay? That's just gonna get us started and get us warmed up, staying all connected, all right? So we'll do a couple minutes of those, nice warm up. Keep in mind, it is warm up. You don't feel like you have to speed through it. It's a great time to feel it out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna keep that back on our back shoulder. We're gonna rock into it. Remember, focusing on that back elbow, staying nice and tight on that back hip. All the way easy, just a warm up. Just like that. Good job, Ryan. Looking good, guys. Looking good. As you're doing this, just be sure to check yourself. Make sure you're not just doing it to do it. Do it with correct form. Technique goes a lot, long, long way. Stop. And keep in mind, guys, when we finish our swing, even though that it's a warm up, we can still be checking ourselves to make sure that we have the proper form and proper swing, right? So after you swing, even though, yeah, we're starting with it on our, on our back shoulder, when we swing through, even though it's at a low effort right now, when we finish, we should be able to look at ourselves and know that we're in a good, powerful position, okay? For those of you guys that are new, we worked on last time keeping that front leg straight and locked and seeing that L in the back leg, right? So we're gonna keep a lot of our weight back and rotating on that back foot, okay? Yep. After each swing, go ahead and check yourself. Make sure that you're in a good, balanced, and strong position. Good job, Kai. I see you working. Nice job, buddy. You guys all have pretty cool setups there. That's awesome. Do about five more swings there just to get warmed up. Nice job. It's a great confidence builder to go into it slow as you progress through the drills to know you can master these skills. Now remember with these, we're not rocking forward with our lower half, right? So when we're rotating, we're rotating with our upper body, okay? Okay, we're not necessarily rocking forward with it, okay? We don't wanna create any bad habits of opening up our hips too early. We wanna make sure that when we're rotating, we're just rotating our upper half, right? Okay, we're just getting that back elbow engaged nice and tight and getting all connected so that when we swing, we're in a good strong position. And then we open up our hips at the point when we're actually swinging. Okay, so from right here, we're just practicing engaging that back elbow. Back elbow nice and tight right there. And then when you swing, that's when you fully rotate your hips all the way forward.
There you go. Way to get your, your elbows engaged. There you go. Nice job. Nice job. A couple more of those and we'll move on. All right, so this next drill is just gonna be called the contact drill, okay? This next one, all we're gonna focus on, we're not gonna go through our full swing. We are going to swing at about 20% effort, all right? Because we're gonna be stopping our swing at contact point, okay? So we're gonna set up the tee so it's a middle, middle ball, nice and easy, just like your warm ups. Uh, we are going to go through our swing at about 20% effort, and we're gonna make contact, and then we're gonna stop at contact, okay? So these balls aren't gonna be hit hard, it's okay, that's not what we're focused on. What we're gonna be focusing on is at the point of contact. Is our bat nice and level, okay? Is our back elbow nice and tight to this back hip? And are my legs in a good, strong and balanced position, okay? So we're gonna do a couple rounds for a couple minutes where all we're gonna do is we're gonna get in our stance. At the point of contact, you're gonna go pause and you're gonna check yourself, all right? Point of contact. We're gonna check our lower half, front straight leg, nice L in the back leg, back nice and level, elbow in nice and tight to that back hip, okay? Do a couple minutes of those, just contact drill. We're not trying to hit these hard. Again, slow and controlled so we can be intentional about what we're doing. Yep. Let's create good habits now. Yep. You guys can go ahead and hit the ball. You're just gonna hit it nice and light, but at the point of contact, you're gonna stop and then you're gonna check yourself. See how Peyton's still gonna be hitting the ball, but he's gonna stop at the point of contact. Right there, see? Try to stop that barrel right at the point of contact, right on top of the, right on top of the tee. A nice shot, Mason. Remember, when we're checking ourselves, we don't want our weight coming forward, okay? We don't want our weight transferring forward when we swing. We want to rotate, okay? Pretend that there's a pole going through the top of your head, right through the center of your body, okay? You're not going to be able to move that pole forward, right? What you're going to do is you're going to rotate on that pole, okay? You can spin all day long on the pole, but you can't push and move the pole forward, right? Try to stay back. Nice job, James. Keep it up. There you go. Really make sure that we're pausing and we're checking ourselves, right? Check your body to make sure that you're in a strong position. Can you hold it there for a long time? If you had to, or do you feel like you're, you're wobbling around a little bit? When you're swinging, okay, you should be level. You should be able to stay in that strong position for as long as, long as you want, okay? If you feel like you're out front, you feel like you're out front in that front foot, okay? Next swing, really try to bring it back. Feel like you're too far back. Next couple swings, nice and easy, okay? We're trying to be nice and level, right in the center of our body, right in the center of our legs. Sometimes that might be because you're taking too short of a stride or too long of a stride. You can also mess around with this, right? So it is practice, that's why we work on the tee, figure out what it is that we need to improve in ourselves. A couple more minutes of contact drill.
Remember that front leg is gonna be nice and, and, and straight and extended, right? Some of you guys are starting to bend that front knee where you feel like you're coming forward. You don't wanna see this front knee bent when we're swaying. You want that back knee turned in a nice L position, okay? Nice and strong. If you turn that back leg, your front leg naturally gonna straighten itself out. Some of you guys with your back foot, you're not really twisting. Think about uh, an analogy that uh, worked for me when I was little, when I was growing up, is think about squishing a bug, okay? You got a bug under that back foot. What do you wanna do, right? When you see that bug and it's under your foot, you wanna fully get in there, right? You wanna squish it, squash it, make sure it's dead. Squishing the bug, just think in the back of your mind, that back right foot or left foot for your lefties, squish the bug. And when you squish the bug, your knee's gonna be facing forward and you're gonna get that nice L, okay? Squish the bug with that back foot. There you go. Take it slow. Take it slow. Focus on go. all the aspects of it, right? Nice job. There you go. Keeping the weight on that back foot, squishing the bug. Nice job. Okay, this next drill is called the extension drill. Now we're not gonna be stopping at the point of contact, okay? So a lot of guys, what happens growing up is you get a lot of, you know, your coaches might say that you're rolling over the ball, okay? So what happens is after you make contact, a lot of guys give up on the swing and the bat does this, okay? So side face, when you make contact and then you give up after making contact, that's when this rollover happens, okay? That's how you get a lot of chop balls, all right? This next drill, what we're gonna focus on is after the point of contact, continuing the bat path forward, okay? To kind of push the ball into play, all right? You see a lot of pros and the guys in the major leagues, if you slow down their video, after they make contact, there's a couple extra seconds in there where they're pushing the ball forward before they roll over that wrist, okay? We don't wanna make contact and then immediately come up and roll over. We wanna make contact and push through just a little bit further, all right? So this next drill, we're gonna have the T set up a little bit further out in front. We're gonna make contact, and then we're gonna focus on keeping that hands extended and pushing through the ball. So we're gonna make contact, swing, and then push through right here, all in one fluid motion, right? This is what it'll look like. You're gonna swing nice and easy. And push forward, the same, same deal as if you were to pause here, but instead of pausing here, we're gonna pause out front and check yourself. Am I rolling over? Is my wrist rolling over? Or can I keep those wrists engaged and forward? This is a super sweet drill, guys. Take advantage of this. Really, really check yourself. Make sure you're doing it right. Yep. That top hand, you should still be able to see the palm of your hand. If you're uh, rolling your wrist, then you know that you're, you're, you're turning over too soon, okay? We wanna swing through and keep pushing, okay? And then after we're out here, then we can rotate, all right? So just focus on swinging through the baseball, pushing forward just a little bit. Top hand, you should see your palm, okay? Palm up. There you go, Caden. Good job, Connor, I see you. Yeah, we're not doing full swings yet. Remember, we're just getting through, making contact and pushing forward right there. That's what it should look like, okay? Okay. 
Nice job, Tanner. There you go. Nice. Do a couple more of those. Remember, your bottom half never changes, right? Still want to be in that nice and strong position, okay? Trying to get squish in the bug. Bottom half stays the same all the time. Do a couple more of those. Remember, no need to speed through it. Take Please. your time, make sure every rep is correct. Let it become muscle memory. All right, I'm gonna give you a minute or two to get a drink real quick, pick up the balls, and then uh, we'll get into our next drill. All right, Let's take about a minute or two to relax, you know, shake it out. I know this is gonna be uh, a lot of work though. Rush, take your time. All right, there you go. Remember, a lot of this T work doesn't have to be, you know, 100% effort all the time, right? We can still work, work on our technique without going 100%, right? We can work smarter, not harder sometimes, okay? So right now we're just working on technique. We're not working on power. We're not trying to hit swing for the fences. You know, we're taking our time, making sure that we're in the right position. So when we get to the game, then we speed it up a little bit. Or in practice in BP, then we swing a little bit harder, and now we're in a good, strong position, and we can take advantage of those balls, right? All right, looks like everybody's ready. Okay, next drill we're gonna do, we're gonna do the bottom hand drill, okay? So some of you returning guys, you guys already know what we're gonna be doing. For the new guys, what we're gonna be doing, for you righties, your bottom hand, left hand, we're gonna choke up on the bat about halfway up, okay? And what we're just going to be working on is driving our hands and keeping that front elbow nice and tight, okay? We're going to work on making sure the shoulder doesn't fly open too early. We're going to try to stay closed and compact, okay? So what we're going to be working on is driving that front hand straight to the baseball, okay? What we don't want to happen is we don't want this swing, okay? We don't want to open up too soon. So look at where my eyes are now. I'm not connected to where I'm hitting the ball. Really focus on keeping your eyes down on the ball, keeping that front shoulder closed for as long as possible, okay? Making contact, all right? For you littler guys, if the bat's a little bit too heavy, you guys can go ahead and rest on the shoulder like we did in that first drill, okay? So we can rest on the shoulder and still do the same drill, right? Bottom, bottom half, remember, stays exactly the same. We're gonna stride, we're gonna squish the butt with that back foot, right? Get that nice L. And we're going to be making contact, all right, out in front with our eyes down on the baseball. And then we can just follow through over our shoulder, okay? Make sure we're choking up on the bat. Again, we're not swinging for the scissors. We're not swinging hard. Just nice and easy, all right? Making contact, swing all the way through, all right? There you go. Make sure we're choking up on the back. All right, nice and high. All right, not just here, bring it up high. All right, so that we have control of the barrel. All right, nice and easy. Boom. Nice, short, and choppy. Bang. Right to the ball. Good 
it'll get some getting used to it'll take some getting used to but this is a good drill some of you might feel like pop pop i have to that's okay nice form for a good thing big goal Job, Ryan. There's no rush. All right. There you go. Mason, make sure we're keeping our weight back, right? See you leaking forward a little bit with those hips. Make sure we're rotating back on that back that back side, right? There you go. Better. Better. Nice shot, Bobby. One more of those. Make sure after every swing, we're checking our bottom half, all right? Make sure that front leg is nice and straight and that back leg, you're getting the L, okay? If your arms are getting tired, you can really feel it in these muscles down here. Just shake them loose. Get all that lactic acid out of it. Do about three more swings for me, and then we'll move on. All right. All right, now we're gonna get into full swings with two hands, and it's gonna be normal, and it's gonna feel great, all right? Now we're gonna do the nine spot or nine pocket drill, okay? So we're gonna start with the opposite field, okay? For you guys, returning guys, you know that we're gonna be bringing the plate or the uh, the T a little bit further back on the plate and outside, okay? For you for you new guys, the concept behind this is when we make contact for middle middle, right? Middle contact right here, okay? And it's a flat barrel barrel straight on. Make contact, it goes up to middle, right? The swing never changes for uh, positioning of where they're pitching, okay? So the only difference that we're gonna have is these opposite field pitches, we're gonna catch a little bit further back in the zone, okay? Now, when that happens, look at my barrel, okay? Now my barrel is, is, is aimed to where we wanna hit the outside pitch, which is about right center, okay, over the second baseman's head, okay? So, drill, we're gonna just start uh with the with the t middle but outside okay so you're going to set it up on the outside part of the plate a little bit further back in the zone what we don't want to happen we don't want to cheat okay cheating the drill would be moving towards the baseball okay that front foot we want that towards the pitcher at all times okay so it's really important to check yourself make sure we're still in that straight line just like we were swinging at the middle middle pitches okay so set it up a little bit further back in the zone. Make contact a little bit further back. Nothing else. Bottom half stays the same. So squishing the bug, getting the L, straight front side. Okay.
job, guys. Really make sure that we're not cheating and stepping towards the baseball, okay? Step towards, or step forward like you're stepping towards the pitcher, just like that middle, middle pitch. There you go. Nice job. Yep, we're thinking right center, right center approach with this, right over the second baseman's head. For you lefties, we're going left center over the shortstop's head. If you're doing this drill correctly, you shouldn't have to manipulate the barrel. You shouldn't feel like you're aiming it, to try to get it there. You should swing just like it's a normal swing. But since you're just catching a little bit further back in the zone, okay, that barrel is already angled for you. You're gonna be making contact. And that barrel is going to dictate and show you where the ball is going to end up going. About five more swings there. Some of you are struggling. Keep in mind, you might be opening your, your shoulders up too soon as well. Try to keep them the same as well for every inside, outside, middle doesn't matter. Keep those shoulders in as long as possible. There you go. All right. Now I'm going to challenge you guys a little bit. All right. We're still going to work on oppo approach. But now what I want you to do is bring that T down okay push that tee down just about around knee height okay right around your knees thing that we're working on here is we're not going to reach down for it what we're really thinking about doing is getting a little bit lower in our legs okay we want to change all right the height of our swing not with our upper body we don't want to be bending down to go get that ball okay what we want to do is sink down in our legs Okay, notice how my upper body stays the same. If it's a middle, middle pitch, boom, right here. Okay, if it's low, look, boom, top pass stays the same. We're just sinking down in our legs just a little bit more. All right, for you guys struggling to keep the L in that back foot and that back leg, this is going to be even a little bit harder for you. Okay, for you guys that want to have that straight back leg, it's going to be a lot harder to get to this pitch. All right. But if you get bent down in that back knee, you let that back knee drop, then this pitch is going to be a lot easier for you to hit. Yep, keeping that back knee nice and low. There you go. See the Wilson's working down there. Nice job. If you're having trouble with this, remember, just make sure that back leg and that back knee is nice and low, okay? Nice job. Nice job, Ryan. It's a pretty swing. Do about five more swings and then take a breather. So you guys got to be getting tired. It's all right. We got about 10 more minutes left. Finishing strong.
go, Andrew. B, nice job. All right. All right, go ahead and pick up the, take another minute breather, and then we'll move the T. We're gonna to move to the inside part of the plate now, all right? And then I'll explain where we're gonna be placing that next. Yep, stretch it out. Drink water if you need to. All right. So this next one, kind of same concept, but in reverse. All right. For the inside pitch, we don't want to get it back in our hands, right? We don't want to be hitting the inside pitch super close to you, right? What we want this ball to do, we want this ball for you righties to go to left center, okay? So what can we do to manipulate the barrel so that we angle the barrel in the correct location to point towards left field as our left, as our right hand hit it? Right, we wanna meet it a little bit further out front. So see, it's the same swing, right? I'm hitting it oppo, I'm hitting it middle, now I'm hitting it left center for the inside pitch, okay? This inside pitch, we want to hit just a little bit further out front, okay? And then watch, watch, see how the barrel's angled more towards left center now. That's what we, that's what we're looking at, okay? Hit a little bit further out front, all right? So for the inside pitch, move the, uh, move the T or the ball or whatever you got up in front, okay? Just a little bit further. So inside and a little bit further out front, okay? So the trick with this one is what we don't want to do is open up with our entire body too early and roll over, okay? We don't want these balls going towards the third base line for your righties or the first base line for your lefties. We want these to stay in the big part of the field. So the, 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 the struggle with this, the challenge is, is keeping your hands nice and tight and inside. Remember like we talked about earlier, keeping that elbow in nice and tight and really pushing through and forward through the zone, okay? So if you guys are having trouble rolling over, all right, and these balls are going down the left field line or you feel like they're chopping, really focus on keeping that back elbow nice and tight and pushing forward with that with those hands, okay? Try to get these in, in the gaps, all right? Left center and right center. For those of you guys who think this is easy or you guys have it down pretty well, try moving the height of the T, okay? So we can move it down, right? And that's gonna really make us focus on bending that back leg, like just like when we were doing with opposite field, okay? So if you wanna challenge yourself, try to get it low and inside, okay? And really force yourself to get down there with your back leg, bend nice and low, all right? We don't wanna uh, rotate with our top half too much, Okay, we're gonna kind of keep that upright, but we're really focusing on, on getting the back knee down, right? And keeping your hands and elbows inside. We're really pushing through that ball, okay? So if you wanna try it, try that low and in pitch.
Nice job, guys. <coughs> Up more swing. Stop, guys. All right, this last one for some of you guys, I can still see that you guys are having a little bit of trouble of keeping that weight on that back side and keeping it there. This last one is called the step back drill, and this might help you guys uh, keep that weight back. So what we're going to do is we're going to be we're going to start in the front of the box. Okay. So what we're going to do. With our feet uh, close together, we are going to we're going to step back with that back foot and really feel all the load in that back foot. Okay, all right. So when we're stepping back, ready? Right here. Majority of my weight is on my back leg. All right. It's not too far behind the back leg. It's still in the inside of that back foot, that back leg. But all my weight is going back and sticking on that back leg. Okay. Again. Stand nice and tall. We're going to step back, gather all of our power and our weight in the back. And then all we're going to do is, like we said before, we're going to squish the bug. We're not going to lunge forward to hit. We're going to rotate on that pole and squish in the bug. So it's going to be load back and then switch. Okay? Trying to keep that weight back as long as possible. There you go. Show it a couple more times. Stand it in front of the box, in front of the plate a little bit. We're gonna step back, load. And then swing. Okay. Right here. Step back, load, swing. Nice job. Important to remember as you're stepping back, you don't want your shoulders to tilt like this either. So it's good to have your weight, the majority of your weight back here, but you don't want your shoulders to kind of be falling. You still want your shoulders to be level all the way through the swing. You don't want them to tilt forward or back. Yeah, I see some beautiful swings. Nice job, guys. About five more of those. Great work, guys. Nice job. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, thanks, for, thanks for attending today. Uh, everybody enjoy that? Thumbs up, thumbs up. Have a good time. Get a good workout in. Fantastic. Great, great. So uh, let's see. Let's do something different here. Raise your hand if you are in Maryland. All right, so raise your hand if you're not in Maryland. One, two, three. Cool. All right. Hey, I'm going to unmute you guys. I want y'all to tell us where you're at. Mason, Maverick, where are you guys at? California. California. Very cool. <laughs> Maddox, where are you at? New Jersey. New Jersey. 
Madison, New Jersey. Jersey. All right, anybody else not in Maryland? New Jersey. No? New Jersey. New Jersey, I got it. All right, thanks. Hey, thanks guys for showing up. Um, hey, Coach Carly and Coach Kayla are here. We have a four o'clock, so in like 15 minutes, we got a softball tea session. So if you guys have a sister or a friend uh, that plays softball, tell them to register. We're gonna start here in about 15, 15 minutes. It's a different link. So if they register in the next 15 minutes, I'll send them the link, all right? So I am gonna unmute everyone. Somehow. Unmute. All right, you're all unmuted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep working. All right, we'll see you guys again soon. Bye. See you. Thank 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 you.